Hello everyone, what you're about to see is a work in progress. It's a live storytelling collaboration with AI. The story is about Charles Babbage and Ada Lovelace. And Ada's vision that one day a machine could be used to create art. I'll be triggering prompts that will help the AI in generating images and using voice cloning technology and a camera monitoring my actions in order to bring the characters to life. So, here we go. Imagination is the discoloring faculty. These are the words of Countess Ada Lovelace, aristocrat, mother, mathematician, and visionary. Welcome to London. It is Wednesday, June 5th, 1833. That's Ada. She's on her way to a party at Dorset House. She's 17 years old and on her way to one of the better parts of the metropolis. As a countess, she had met many of the celebrities of the day, but tonight, she would meet a man who shared a love of science. For this is the home of Charles Babbage. Babbage was 42 when he met Ada, a scientist obsessed by numbers. He was the author of a book about the calculation of insurance premiums and another about the decline of science. And now he had a new project, a calculating machine. My dear Countess, I'm glad you appreciate the value of such a machine, and yet I seem to live in a country that is incapable of estimating it. That is true. We overrate what we find remarkable and underrate those notions that will surpass what we praise. Babbage shared his plans for the Difference Engine, and Ada immediately saw its possibilities. Others did not. I liked Mr. Babbage immensely. He saw mathematics in everything, and so did I. In 1837, Victoria became Queen of England, and Charles Babbage devised a new calculating machine. It used punch cards to guide its computations. It was a mechanical marvel of cogs and wheels, a machine for processing numbers way beyond anything that had been attempted before. Not many people understood the concept. One fellow asked me to explain the principle of the machine in two words. And what were they? The method of differences. That's four words. I can feel like people were confused. Babbage's life was a turbulent mix of hope and failure. He failed to sell his machines to industry and government. He had always despaired about the lack of scientific progress. Now he despaired about his inability to convince the world that they needed his analytical engine. In 1843, a new opportunity came to publicize the analytical engine. The Italian mathematician Luigi Federico Menebrea had written a paper about Babbage's machine. Countess Lovelace translated my paper into English because she believed it would draw attention to the engine in England. She expounded on the professor's ideas and suggested that such an instrument could do more than calculate numbers. It could be not just the scientific tool, but a creative one. It was no mere calculating machine. Imagine an engine that create art or music, compose elaborate concertos, sonatas, arias of any degree or complexity. The possibilities are endless. Ada wrote what many consider to be the first computer algorithm. And in doing so, Ada Lovelace became the world's first computer programmer. Mathematics is the unseen relationship between things. To see them, we need our imagination. It is poetical science. The analytical engine weaves algebraical patterns, just as the chocard loom weaves flowers and leaves. For some time, Ada had been in ill health. Laudanum was her medication. 
Her correspondence on mathematics is filled with metaphor, philosophy, and grand dreamlike visions. Imagination, she said, is the key to discovery. Those who have learned to walk on the threshold of the unknown worlds may be then with the fair right wings of imagination hope to soar further into the unexplored amidst which we live. I am more than ever now the bride of Zion. Ada made Babbage a proposal to fund the building of the analytical engine, but Babbage, with the same stubbornness he had exhibited throughout his life, refused her offer. The analytical engine was never completed. Ada Lovelace died in 1852, age 37. But her optimism could not be crushed. She truly believed her ideas would live on. That brain of mine is something more than merely mortal, as Kindle show. Ada Lovelace brought her imagination to bear upon the mechanical, and where others saw problems, she saw a machine that could change the world. That world is now here, a world where science and art melt, where human imagination combined with technology gives us the means and the power to transform everything around us. Thank you, Ada, for the foresight that many lacked and the vision you shared. You truly are the enchantress of knowledge. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little exploration into the world of real-time storytelling using AI. Bye now.